Okay, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> so today we are going to look at people and culture. Okay, time out speaking. So today speaking, I hope you are ready with your presentation here. Yeah? Okay, so I gave you last week. Okay, you are going to present today. Yeah, are you ready? Ready, teacher. Are oh, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, right now we are going to do some brainstorming. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm going to choose a name first. So everyone, get ready. <clears throat> okay. You are going to represent your group. Okay. So you have six groups. Uh, I'm referring to the group that you you used to have. Okay. We have six groups in the class. So uh, if I choose one name, okay, that person. So get ready, okay? All right, and everyone in the group uh, can guess, okay? So the, the, the person with, the, let's say, the number is number three. So number three in the list, okay, uh, will have to uh, guess, okay, guess the, the word or the activity. Okay, are you clear, right? Okay. Once the uh, once the music is uh, is off, all right. You are going to, of course, you have to do it very quickly. You have to guess, right? Okay. So if you can guess, then you'll get a score, two points. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. You have to start now. Okay, one letter. E. E. Yeah. E. E. 
E. E elephant. Yes, E elephant. Ah, okay, E elephant. S S S Yes S I I I iguana H H Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Um, can you guess? Yeah, yeah, I, I think I can. Yeah, what? Horse riding. Horse riding. Yeah. All right, let's check. Let's check. That's a G. Yeah, you're oh right. Okay, well done. Two points for you. Yay. Okay, you and your group, yeah? Two points for you and your group. Thank you. Okay, next person. Number four, Hazim. Okay, Hazim, get ready. Hazim, are you there? Okay, if Hazim is not there, uh, anybody in the group, okay? Alright, let's start. Anybody in this group? Okay, Hazim is in this group. Okay, let's start. Me, DJ, me. Yeah, what? Uh, D. C. Yeah. D. E. Yes. H. H. Yes. R. R. A. A. Okay, you have to guess now. You have to guess. Anyone in the group? Hurry up. Rock climbing, teacher. Rock climbing. Rock climbing. Rock climbing. Okay, let's check. Okay, are you right? Yes, you're right. Okay, all right. Well done. Okay, two points for you and your team. Okay, next one. Okay, number eight. Okay, number eight is Raja. Okay, Raja and his group. Okay, this one. Okay, ready? Get ready. All right, yes. Rajana. Okay, anybody in the group? Okay, can you guess? Anybody in the group? I'm in the group, teacher. Ah, Abdullah, okay, Abdullah. Okay, what, what letter? What, what letter? Shout, uh, shout, I shout, think shout. E huh? and F. S. 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 E, e and F. No, uh, what letter, uh, letter for E? E. Uh, e. e. Alright, E. Right, e. And then F. F. E. Uh, Abdullah, okay, Abdullah. Okay, what, what letter? Shout, shout, shout. E and F. S. S. E, e and F. No, uh, one letter uh, for E. 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 Uh, e. Alright, E. Right, e. And then F. F. Uh, e. Uh, e. 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 Oh, I do, I do. 
Uh -huh. Um, the next is Come on, one letter. Uh, S S. Yeah. Yeah. S. R R. Eh, hot air. Yeah. Hot yeah. Hot 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 air balloon is the uh, is not the activity. It's the, activity. the object. It's a noun. So hot air. It should be hot air. The I think it's yeah? hot air ballooning. Ah yes, that's yes. hot air ballooning. Okay, uh, should be the activity. Okay, let's move. Okay, are you ready? You want to present now? You want to present? All right, your homework uh, is supposed to present. Okay, so share your group is? My group is about tightrope walking. Hmm. Okay. So can I present now? Yeah, sure. Tightrope walking. Oh, nice light. Yeah, that's a dumb drum roll. <laughs> drum roll. Hanan Najiha. Okay. <clears throat> banana, that's a banana there. Okay, let's see banana. I'm hungry. I have not taken my breakfast. Have you? You've taken a breakfast? Yes or no? I've not taken my breakfast. Okay, start. Who's going to present? Uh, I'll, I'll start first. Okay, so Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. I bid to Tijeza and my fellow classmates. So today we will be presenting about the extreme spot named uh, tightrope walking. So this is the history of tightrope walking. Uh, Fundamentalism dates back at least to ancient Greece. That's where the name comes from. Phonis means uh, rope and then ambular means to walk. In both ancient Greece and ancient Rome, tightrope walkers were revered, but their work was not considered sporting enough to be the part of Olympic Games. Instead, it often became the providence, justice, and other entertainers. So uh, the top right picture, you can see that is the uh, seven people pyramid tightrope walking. Thing. They are standing on a rope. Okay. And then uh, the window picture is just of an artifact, the drawing on an artifact. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you see this in a circus? Right? Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah. Next, the rules of tyro walking is maintaining balance by walking along a tension wire between two points. The technique to maintain balance is to keep the performance center of mass above the, their support point, which is usually their feet. Mm. Yeah, I can see this in a circus. I used to see this in a circus. So there are some necessary equipments when you want to do tight rope walking. For the balance equipment is maybe using umbrellas, as a balancing pole and other other equipments like you can see here in the graphic is a disc something like that to balance it 
There are also times where it is free hand, so no equipment uh, are used. For mm -hmm. safety, uh, they could also wear safety harnesses, uh, thin and flexible leather sole slippers with a full length sweep or leather sole to protect the feet from abrasions and bruises while still allowing the foot to curve around the wire. For clothing, they usually wear special shoes made of cloth or flexible leather. Uh, there are also some who go barefoot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, we go on to the popularity of tightboat walking. Tightboat walking is, was actually very popular in ancient Greece and Rome and the 5th century of France. However, this tightboat walking never got certified for a formal competition such as the Southeast Asia Games or even the Olympics. And being also known as funambulism, uh, actually there are a lot of competition held in nowadays, such as the third international highlight that road walking tournament that was taken, that, that took place in Eastern China. Also, that road walking made some great history and was even turned into a movie in 2015 called The Walk. As you can see, this is the movie poster on the right. Uh, also, there is an idiom uh, which is about that road walking. Mm -hmm. it, is, um, it means to do something that requires extreme care and precision or to navigate a situation that allows very little or no error. Uh, to use this idiom, for example, I've been walking a tightrope at work to prove how valuable I am. Okay, good. So there are two extra facts that we added. First, fearless tightrope artist Freddie Nock added to his collection of Guinness World Records titles with a successful walk between two Swiss mountain tops, starting at Bankergrad at 3.532 meters above sea level. The 50 year old stuntman from Switzerland eventually reached Peace Frivolous, the highest mountain in Eastern Alps, setting a new record for the highest tightrope walk. The second fact French daredevil Philippe Petit is best known for his 1974 high wire. High wire walk between the Twin Towers in New York City, called the artistic crime of the century. Petit's daring feat became the focus of a media sensation. Petit has performed high wire walks around the world, and in a 2008 document. Something wrong with your <coughs> mic. So he won awards, yeah, and critical praise. Okay, a oh, nice slides. <laughs> I like your slides. Beautiful slides. Okay, so this is something new. I have never heard of a uh, tight rope uh, or tight roping. Okay, I don't see uh, anybody uh, uh, have this activity in Malaysia, right? In none, right? Overseas, I think. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Well done. Good job. Okay. <laughs> right. Well done. Good job eh? to the school. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Thank you, okay. teacher. Uh, well researched. Good. Well researched. Okay, that's teamwork. Okay, well done. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Okay, next group. So, this is extreme sport. Okay, next group. Can you go? Uh, okay. okay when, I say, when I say group work, you do your work in a in a team, right? Everyone is doing the work, yeah. Not just one person. It should be the, the team, the group. Um Right, okay, so Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning, a bit to everyone that's here. Okay, so um, my group will be presenting about the extreme sport rock climbing. So for the introduction of rock climbing, rock climbing is a sport in which participants climb up, down or across natural rock formations or artificial rock walls. The goal is to reach the summit of a formation or the endpoint of a usually predefined route 
without falling. And rock climbing is a physically and mentally demanding sport. One that often tests a climber's strength, endurance, agility, and balance along with mental control. Knowledge of proper climbing techniques and the use of specialized climbing equipment is crucial for the safe completion of routes. Because of the wide range and variety of rock formations around the world, rock climbing has been separated into several different styles and sub-disciplines, such as scrambling and another activity involving the scaling of hills and similar formations. Differentiated by rock climbing sustained use of hands to support the climber's weight as well as to provide balance. Professionals, professional rock climbing competitions have the objectives of either completing the route in the quickest possible time or attaining the farthest point on an increasingly difficult route. Indoor, indoor rock climbing is, a typically, is typically split into three disciplines. These disciplines are bouldering, lit climbing, and top roping. History of rock climbing. Paintings dating from 200 BC show Chinese men rock climbing. In early America, the cliff dwelling Anasazi in the 12th century are thought to have been excellent climbers. Early European climbers used rock climbing techniques as a skill required to reach the summit in their mountaineering exploits. In the 1880s, 1880s European rock climbing became became an independent pursuit outside of mountain climbing. Although rock climbing was an important component of Victorian mountaineering in the Alps, it is generally thought that the sport of rock climbing began in the last quarter of the 19th century in various parts of Europe. Rock climbing evolved gradually from an alpine necessity to a distinct athletic activity. The unwritten rules for rock climbing is, first of all, leave no trace. This should be common sense, but even so, it's important to note, just and in any other outdoor adventure like backpacking and camping, make sure that whatever you bring out to your climb, you take back with you. Don't leave a mess and ruin things for the next folks of, or for the natural environment. Next, don't rush others. Avoid from rushing others also during the climb. This will most definitely lead to an accident if not careful. There is no need to apply more pressure to the wound. The wound, eh? Wound. Wound. Uh. Next, don't hog roots. Hogging roots will most probably irritate others, either climbers. Why would you want to do something like that? Lastly, respect. Some people like to play music loudly while climbing. This might make other climbers unable to focus, ultimately leading to, the, to bad climbs. Respect public, respect public space. So here's the list of the necessary equipment for rock climbing. You need a static rope, waist safety belt, shoulder strap, tactical gloves, hand control descenders, and main locks. And here's the image of the of the equipment. So now for the popularity of rock climbing. The engenderment of the popularity of rock climbing is something that we found quite interesting. Over the past several years, the unique sport of rock climbing has experienced a surge in popularity. According to the Climbing Business Journal, the commercial climbing industry grew at a rate of 6.9% in 2016, 10% in 2017, and 11.8% in 2018. This growth in popularity has inspired the opening of a number of indoor rock climbing gyms, where practitioners of the sport can climb bouldering walls, which they climb literally a short enough distance above the ground that they don't need to wear any safety harness. And top roping walls, which extend several feet above the ground and require the use of a harness and a belayer to manage the safety rope. Rock climbing is an intense and exciting activity, and its recent surge in popularity is reflected in its decision to add the spot to the, to the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. That's all from us. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Just to uh, mention uh, now, how do you pronounce C L I M B I N G? C L I M B I N G. Okay. What's the correct? Climbing and climber. Uh, climb, climbing and climber. Okay. Actually, it is a silent B. 
Okay, silent bees meaning you don't pronounce the B. So climbing and climber. Climbing, uh, not climbing. Uh, climbing, lama. Okay, what about P O M B I N G? You say bombing? They say bombing? Yes or no? You say bombing? Or you say bombing? Class, bombing or bombing? Bombing. Ah, okay. Uh, silence B. Right. Uh, what about S U C C U M B I N G? How do you pronounce that? So they say succumbing. They say succumbing. Right. Okay. So so silence B, yeah? Okay. Climbing. Climber. Okay. Bombing. Bomber. Bombing, not bombing. Okay, got it? Right? Okay, talk, thank you. Okay, uh, interesting rock climbing, right? I think that one is popular, right, among teenagers, isn't it? Okay, now you can also have in the mall, right? You can see rock climbing in the mall. Okay, thank you. Well done, uh, uh, Ashun and your group. Okay, next group. Teacher, can my group present? Uh, Teja, are you sure? Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Our group, which consists of me, Alisa, Teja, Sufa, and Dalila, will be presenting about hang gliding. For the introduction of hang gliding, hang gliding is a type of air sport which the hang glider flies a non-motorized aircraft. Hang gliding is categorized as an extreme sport as it involves a high degree of risk. The history for hang gliders are, hang gliders were developed by the pioneers of practical flight in Germany starting in the 1891. Otto Littner made several thousand flights before a fatal gliding accident in 1896. In the United States, collaboration between Augustus Herring and Octave Chanute resulted in a successful flights of a, bio, a biplane hang glider from dunes in Indiana at the southern end of Lake Michigan in 1896. In these early designs, the pilot hung from the armpits on parallel bars beneath the wings, swinging hips and legs to control roll and shifting back and forth to influence pitch. Modern hang gliding emerged towards the end of 1860s. Cheap materials such as bamboo, plastic sheets were used and the parallel bar control method remained. For the rules during converging gliders, when two gliders are converging at approximately the same altitude, the glider with the other on its right shall give way. The second one is approaching head-on. When approaching approximately head-on with a risk of collision, both gliders shall alter course to the right. Number three, approaching head-on on a ridge. A ridge is like a mountain hilltop. When reach soaring, if two gliders are flying towards each other at similar height, the pilot with the reach to his right has the right of way, and the pilot with the reach to his left must move out so that the mount the other has room to maintain course without having to turn into or over the reach. And then number four is overtaking. When overtaking another aircraft, you must give it a wide berth and take care not to impede it. And then number five is thermaling. Thermaling is like moving in a cyclone, like a typhoon. The first glider entering a thermal may decide which direction to turn in, whether uh, counterclockwise or clockwise. Gliders joining a thermal must give way to gliders already established in it and turn in the same direction to avoid getting another crash. Number six is landing. A glider landing or on final approach has the right of way over all other gliders on the ground. After landing, you must clear the landing area as soon as possible to give way to other hang gliders as well. Number seven, indicating the wind direction from the ground. 
When indicating the wind direction to a pilot in the ground, face the wind, lean forward and hold your arms out and back like, like, like a glider and walk or run into the wind. There are four necessary equipments needed for hang gliding. First is glider, second is harness, third is helmet, and lastly is emergency parachute. Uh, because uh, in case the parachute we use won't open, this is for safety reasons. Mm -hmm. There are a few places where hang gliding is popular such as Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Kahulu, Hawaii, and North Carolina, USA. And this extreme sport is well known amongst young adults and teens between the age of 17 to 19 for its thrilling experience of gliding in the air. Right, thank That's you. all from us, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Now what about your group? Are you interested in this activity? Yes, I think we are very excited. Yes. Oh, yes, excited. Right, right. Okay, have you seen uh, anywhere in Malaysia? And gliding, is it popular? No, not really. Not really. Where, 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 where have you seen this activity? Uh, in the dramas, overseas dramas. Overseas, I mean Malaysia. Uh, oh, in Malaysia, I don't think so. I've seen uh, any hang gliding. Oh, you have not seen. Okay, what about Ashun? Have you seen any? Cash? Have you seen any hand gliders? No? No, you have not seen? Never? So it's not that uh, not popular, okay? All right, hand gliding. All right. Okay, thank you. Okay, now, next group. So you see uh, 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 the three activities just now. Okay, they have uh, rules, right? Right? Uh, safety rules, yeah? For rules and regulation. Why? Why? Why are uh, all these activities, okay? Uh, you must observe the rules. You must make sure that you follow the rules. Okay, why? Right? Uh, safety rules, yeah? rules and regulation why 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 are all these activities okay uh, you must observe the rules you must make sure that you follow the rules okay why what is the main reason these sports are extreme sport uh -huh. hence we must obey the rules to avoid any bad incident happen to the player Yes, okay. Uh, injury, right? Uh, injury, and it can cause death, right? Okay, next group. Thank you very much. Next. Okay, who else? Okay, are you presenting? Uh, yes, yes.
uh, <clears throat> after this, Adeline. Adeline and your group, and who else, yeah? Uh, two, more. Uh, two more groups here. Yeah? Okay. okay, um, sorry for the difficulties just now. Right. Uh, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. I'm with to everyone present. Uh, okay. um, today, my group will present about wakeboarding. Okay. So for the rules and regulations, first uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, what what is wakeboarding? Suddenly you, oh. suddenly you have rules and regulations. Okay, do you have any pictures of wakeboarding? I'm interested to know. Where uh, what is it? Next few slides. Yes, we can do history first. Oh, history first. Okay. So the rules will come later, yeah? Uh, you have to introduce the activity first. Uh, the evolution of wakeboarding begins in 1985 when Tony Finn developed the scurfer for a sport known as skiboarding. Scurfer was a combination between a water ski and a surfboard. Due to the scurfer's lack of foot straps, the rider had the ability to stand anywhere on the board. Assalamualaikum and very good morning. Today our group will be presenting about mountain biking. Mountain bikes are a fairly new invention. They have only been around since the late 1970s. Rather than being the product of large bicycle manufacturers, research and development team, the humble mountain bike came into, the, into existence through the hard work and trial and error of a group of friends doing what they love, riding rough dirt tracks down the side of a mountain. In the mid-1970s, a group of friends including Joey Breeze, Otis Guy, Charlie Kelly and Gary Fisher 
began racing their bikes down the rough dirt pass on Mount Tap- Tamakis, which is located in Marin County, just north of San Francisco. It didn't take them long to notice how hard the trails were on their bikes. To tackle these tough trails, they began to experiment with different types of bikes. For example, they began to use old pre-World War II single-speed bikes that had heavy frames and big tires. They called these old bikes clunkers, and riding them became known as clunking. Simultaneously, a bike club near Cupertino, California, called the Moro Dirt Club, was doing some similar experimentation. For example, a member of that club named Bruce Mahan had added 10 speed gears and this breaker to a conquer like bike. The Marin Contin riders continued to add additional features to their conquers, including thumb shifter and motocross style handlebars. Finally, in 1977, Tui Breeze welded the first custom heavy frame intended for downhill racing, thereby successfully producing the first true mountain bike. Breeze made the bike for his friend Charlie Kelly. Who is usually considered the person to coin the term mountain bike? The specialized frame was made from steel alloy allo- tubing. It was given added strength and stability by two lateral tubes that ran diagonally across the frame. Within a decade, multi- multiply manufacturers were producing a wide variety of mountain bikes with lighter carbon fiber frames. Finally, twin suspension, powerful disc brakes and precision shifters. Today's mountain bikes look nothing like the clunkers that preceded them, and that's probably a good thing. In 1996, mountain biking debuted as a sport at the Olympic Games in Atlanta. Since that time, the sport has grown in popularity and expanded to include many different types of races and competitions. So these are safety rules for mountain bikers. First, watch out for hikers and pedestrians. Um, pedestrians, this include animals as well, because we don't want to any incident happen. Next, don't go on a mountain bike without a helmet and other safety equipment. Then stay on the marked routes. Um, and then the last one here is for Olympics. The race authorities can penalize the athletes if they pull the jerseys of other competitors or push or lean on them. So these are equipment. First, a well-maintained mountain bike, mountain bike helmet, padded cycling glove, elbow, knee, and shin pads are optional but highly recommended, eye protection, cycling clothes, and drinking water. Uh, popularity of mountain biking. Mountain biking is a very popular activity in the U.S. with nearly 40 million participants annually. Mountain biking participation peaked in 2001 and has remained relatively steady since then. Mountain biking part- participation is about half of hiking participation but much larger than other trail activities. Mountain biking are getting more popular during this pandemic. For people who love outdoor, outdoor, outdoor activities start to seek extreme sports while enjoying scenery and nature. Because of that, mountain bright trails comes across the United States are showing increase, increases of 100% to over 500% compared with the same time in 2019. That's all from us. Thank you. Uh, is quite popular right among teenagers in Malaysia I think I, I've seen uh, a lot of them there yeah? okay thank you very much okay shall we have the next one is it the last group okay good morning everyone today I'm going to present about scuba diving can, can you enlarge enlarge the slide enlarge. oh um, you're not see yeah the first one. The history of scuba diving. In early Greece and Rome, people used to swim or dive while holding their breath or by using makeshift breathing apparatuses like hollow plant stems. And people swim or dive commonly to gather food and materials from the ocean, such as fish. 
rules of scuba diving and there are three rules before during and after before diving you should get satisfied you should get certified and master skills so that you can be safe down there and you should stay healthy by your own gear and know your limits and during diving don't hold don't hold your breath and you should do safety stops in the sea and don't touch the marine life because if you touch it they could they could be destroyed and clear, you should clear your ears and after diving we should not fly immediately after a dive because it could affect our body system and don't go mountain climbing don't go mountain climbing don't drink too much and by drinking too much i mean alcohol not water and, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> and don't do any zip lining because all these four points uh, can affect our body system the equipment for, for scuba diving there are six which are diving mask dry suit or wet suit scuba gloves scuba tank regulator and first aid kit and finally the popularity scuba diving has grown in popularity over the past two decades this is evident from the rapid growth in the number of certifications issued worldwide and the number has grown to 23 million at a pace of about 1 million every year okay. that, is, that is all from me thank you okay so scuba diving uh, is i don't think it's quite popular okay because why one is uh, it's very risky, okay, dangerous, and then uh, you need a like, license, correct? You need a license, right? Okay, so you cannot just simply go super diving unless you have a license, and then it's very expensive, yeah? Expensive sports if you are interested in this. Okay, right, now, uh, I think we are running out of time. Okay, so what you do, uh, I want you to turn in, but can you write just one paragraph? I want you to choose one from uh, what you have listened just now. It might be not your own activity, it might be others. So I want to, you to just to write, this will be your reflection, okay? Just one paragraph about which activity do you think is the best among the six? And try to, I want you to recall one, only one uh, rules or regulations, okay? And try to relate to environment okay or environment okay okay for example what can it be like scuba diving just now i saw one okay one rules okay so i want you to because i want but just now you should uh, listen and then you should be able to uh okay uh, probably uh try to remember one only one only one rule right it can be your your activity or other activities one rule that relate to environment for example after you are uh, probably before and after you cannot throw rubbish right if you go uh let's say uh, rock climbing for example okay okay so try to relate to environment and also to safety okay just one rule okay so talk about your probably what you have listened and which is the best to you which is interesting and why and then uh just mention one rule all right, can you do that? Very simple task. Okay, so that you can turn in. Okay, because we have to postpone uh, the activities for today. Okay, so I just want to do that activity. Just mention one paragraph and then uh, you turn in. Okay, you can add one more slide to your slide and then turn in. Okay, so turn in your uh, presentation today. And then can you add just one slide and then talk about your, uh, your reflection, self-reflection. So are you clear? Okay, sure. Yeah. Do we have to complete the other slide task as well? Uh, no, no. That one we postpone uh, this Wednesday. Okay. okay. All right. So just uh, your, your, you, you are supposed to turn it, the one that you just presented, and then just add one slide to talk about your reflection of this activity. Okay. Uh, just choose one, which is the best, and then talk about the rule 
uh, the safety rules and then also related to environment. Okay, uh, safety and environment. All right, is that clear? Okay, thank you so much. Shall we take photo? Okay, everyone, camera on. Camera on. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, teacher. 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 Thank you, teacher.